This demonstration shows how we can rapidly add detail to a basic design model and bring it to a level suitable for producing class approval drawings. In this case, we will be adding the details required to produce the midship structural arrangement. We will now revisit the planar groups to define end treatments and add cutouts, seams, and brackets. To achieve ultimate efficiency, we are making use of the part relationships and parametric construction lines created when modeling the basic design in Ship Constructor. To get started, we will revisit the main deck. Before we start modeling, we will activate the task. Tasks are a great way to streamline workflows and we will make sure to cover them in a later demonstration. To add seams to the deck, we draw construction lines and use the split plate command to split the plate at those locations. Should we need to change the seam locations, we can simply move the construction line later to the new location. Plate thicknesses can be modified using the edit properties command. We will now add a manhole to the main deck. The manhole can be added by drawing the cutout shape and adding that object to the plate part. Like the construction line defining the seam, this construction line can be modified later should we wish to change the cutout size or location. The profiles in that area need to be modified around the cutout. We can show datum lines on the plate to show the frame locations and use that line as a reference to place a transverse stiffener aft of the manhole. We'll now have a look at the deck in isometric view. A flat bar combing can be added around the cutout using the faceplate command. We need to modify the longitudinal profile by splitting it at the intersecting transverse profile and bulkhead. When we do this, the related objects dialog box appears. Because this is a unique situation and is not symmetrical about the center line of the ship, we will break the relationships it has with mirrored and copied parts. We'll now look at the next deck down, which requires a change in location. As the design has evolved, we have decided to move this deck down 100 millimeters. This can be done using the Move Planar Group command. This also moves the reference planes, including any parallel thickness planes we set up. The connecting plates, parts, and other planar groups that were defined using the parametric construction lines will be updated automatically. This includes all the frames and longitudinal bulkheads in this unit. We'll skip ahead, detail the longitudinal bulkheads, and take a look at the frames, starting with the non-watertight type. As we can see, the modified deck height has automatically updated the plates and stiffeners that were defined using the mold planes of the deck. Next, we'll add brackets and cutouts to the frame. This is not critical for most approval drawings. However, in this location, it is important for the midship structural drawing we intend to produce. We can add profile cutouts to the plates intersecting the shell plate and decks using the Manage Cutout tool. The Cutout tool automatically identifies cutout locations based on intersecting planar group's profiles. We can choose if we would like the predefined tight or non-tight cutout shape for each new cutout. At any given time, we can use the Mark Group Intersection command to show an outline of the connecting planar group solids projected onto our active UCS plane. We are doing this to show the location of seams so we know where to position weld reliefs. Next, we'll add corner treatments to the plates. Corner treatments can be predefined snipes or scallops. We need to do this for each plate. Plates created using the copy or mirror commands will update automatically. So will the plates that were replicated on different planar groups, including all the frames within this unit. I will skip ahead and add mouse holes to the other plates on the starboard side of this planar group. Before moving on, we will add a custom plate above the walkway by drawing the outline we want and defining a new plate part. This plate also requires corner treatments, in this case, two different sizes. We need to replicate this new part to the other transverse planar groups before moving on. Next up, we'll update the watertight bulkheads.
Similar to the non-watertight frame, plates and profiles defined by the mold plane of the modified deck have automatically updated. We will now add a base plate to the base of our pillar. The plate itself can be either a standard part or we can draw in place what we need. Using the Add Standard Part at Stiffener command, we can add a bracket to the base of the rectangular section. The new bracket will be mirrored to the other side of the same section. We can use the Rotate Copy command to add brackets in the transverse direction. Three of these brackets can be mirrored to the top of the rectangle section, and then all the new brackets can be mirrored about the center line of the ship to the port side. We can adjust the height of the rectangular section so it aligns with the thickness face of the new base plate by setting a 20 millimeter offset in Edit Properties. The fabricated T-section has moved down 100 millimeters because it was defined by the modified DEX mold plane and an offset of that curve. We'll now add an end treatment to the profiles on the fabricated T-section. Because these parts are related, they all update together. Brackets can be added to the upper side of these stiffeners, connecting them to the longitudinal stiffeners of the connecting deck. To help copy these across to other profiles, Ship Constructor lets you toggle on and off draft lines, production lines, and solids to make it easier to snap to the right locations. We have been advised to change the two inboard plated in sections to corrugated bulkheads for ease of manufacturing. We start by deleting the plated in section along with the attached profiles. A corrugated bulkhead can be created using the same method as creating a plate. The profile of the corrugation has been predefined in the structural stock library. Once the starboard side has been created, we can mirror it to the port side. We'll skip ahead, add the rest of the details to this planar group, and detail the bulwarks. Let's have a look at the finished model. There is now enough detail within the model to create our midship structure class approval drawing. Using the methods shown in this video, these details can be added and replicated throughout the ship when we progress into the detailed design phases. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com. Thank you for watching.